Hi, this video will show you how to find company and industry information in the Business Insights database. In the search box, enter a company name or its ticker symbol if it's a public company. Let's find some information on Apple. You can click on any of these links to go to a specific section of the company profile, but I recommend just clicking on the company name to view the full profile and you see the same sections on the left. The company hierarchy link on the top is sometimes useful to figure out where your company stands in a corporate family tree, especially if it's not a parent company. Let's check out some of the key sections. Click on Financials to view current financial statements. You can do side-by-side -side comparison with major competitors as defined by the database, or even select your own list of competitors. You can compare the company with itself by getting up to six years of financial data. If you click on the financial dashboard, you can view its stock performance, including historical prices and market news. Investment reports are written by financial analysts and contain extensive financial data and company analysis. Market share reports compile market share tables from a wide variety of sources. It saves you time, but may not have the type of market share you are looking for, so you may still need to do your own research using the library databases or Google. The SWOT report may help you identify problems of a company, but do pay attention to the publication date. In this case, the report was from over a year ago, so some information may already be outdated. Check other library databases for more recent reports if available. The sections of academic journals, magazines, news, and trade publications provide access to full text articles that mentioned Apple. You can search within the results. However, mentioning the company is not the same as about the company, so these articles may or may not be very relevant. While these articles are a good starting point, you should still do your own article search for more focused results. Apple is a large, public, and prominent company, so you see all these sections. Smaller, private, or newer companies may have less information. For example, even though Mars is very well known, you don't see sections like financials, investment reports, or SWOT reports that are available for most public companies because Mars is private. Now let's get back to the Apple profile and explore the industry section. Here is a list of industries that Apple operates in. Click on the primary industry or any of the other industries. Here you see some basic industry numbers and a list of industry essays. Industry essays are available on not only the primary industry itself, but also niche or emerging industries such as tablets and wearable computing. The essay provides a nice snapshot of the industry and also various sources that you can follow up on. Another way to search for industry information is to use the Industry tab. All Industries lets you browse the industries and search by industry name or NAICS code. This section only covers established broad industry categories, so you won't find a niche or emerging industry like wearable. To search both established industries and niche or emerging industries, use the Industry Essays link. Type in either the NAICS code or a keyword. You also have access to Plunkett reports under the Industry tab. Plunkett Research is another publisher of industry information. You can browse, search by NAICS, or do a keyword search. When you do a keyword search, add an asterisk for example, hotel doesn't return anything, but hotel plus an asterisk does. You need to tell the search engine to look for both the singular and the plural forms. The reports here called Plunkett Analytics contain a ton of industry and company data. In addition to company and industry profiles, Business Insights provides quite a few other useful tools. For example, Company Finder lets you generate a list of companies based on various criteria. You can create comparison charts for companies, industries, and countries. 
I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us. Thanks for watching.